Hello everybody, thank you so much for tuning in today. My name is Jacqueline and in today's video I'm bringing you a wear test and review on the brand new Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Concealer. But before we get started and if you're new here, I hope that you will consider to subscribe to my channel and ring the post notification bell so you get to know whenever I upload new videos. Also, come and follow me on my Instagram. And now, if you want to know if this new concealer will work on mature skin, um, on fine lines and if it does really have that full coverage to actually cover really or really 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 dark under eye circles then just keep on watching as for the title of this video you know that we're going to be doing a wear test on the hourglass vanish airbrush concealer while I was on my trip, I couldn't resist myself and I had purchased a ton of makeup. I have like a full basket right here. I don't know if you want me to do a makeup haul maybe and then you choose what you want me to review because I have a ton and I know there's more coming. So I honestly a little bit lost on what I wanted to review or not and what you're interested for me to review. Anyhow, going back to this concealer, it costs $34. It comes in 22 shades and it also has 0.2 fluid ounces or 6 mls and I got it in the shade pearl this concealer let me check is it made it's made in Korea so usually most of our glass products they are made in Italy and now they are trying Korean type of beauty so this is kind of exciting um, now for what I have read about this concealer packaging it's kind of like the same as their new lip glosses I really like this packaging the only thing this is frosted and then it has the hourglass uh, logo right here just the H right there so I read that this is full coverage and you know it's something that I'm interested in because if you're new here welcome to my channel I um, I have as you can tell really really dark under eye circles so I do have divots aside to that my dark circles they have a blue hint to it so usually I try to um, get a concealer that it's just maybe one shade lighter than my you know foundation shade but for the most part that also has a peach energy now you see the brightness i actually um, record my videos in natural light so i know the sunshine is like here i am okay let's not worry about that we will get through this review right here it has really great reviews on the sephora website 366 reviews and almost five a star so that's that and then again full coverage natural finish which i like good for normal dry combination and oily skin it's supposed to be weightless waterproof too um, and this concealer has microspherical powders that blurs and brightens for up to 16 hours of skin perfection so um today is gonna be kind of like a long day for me so let's see it is 8 23 in the morning and i'm actually also doing another video for a review of a foundation so i don't know which one will go up first maybe the foundation will go up first which is this tom Ford foundation right here and then next will be these right here so anyhow let's give it a go and just to let you know this pro shade i think it says something that it has like a peach undertone to it i don't know if i'm correct on this or not let me check really quick here yes this pearl shade has a light to medium peach undertone i also have a lot of fine lines under my eyes so i try to do not get the concealer too close and doe foot applicator i wanted to show it to you so it looks like a little paddle you can see it right there so it's flat and again it's kind of half like this um, paddle shape Okay, and definitely has that peachy undertone to it. So I'm just gonna start with a little, and then I'm gonna blend it. Let's try first with a beauty sponge. You can see my dark circles right here. Okay, so this concealer is, um, it's not liquidy. It's in fact a little, it has a little bit of a kind of like a creamy consistency. And definitely 
definitely is full coverage. Honestly, it feels like it's already drying, but it doesn't look dry on the skin. It actually looks not even luminous, but it has a natural finish. But it seems like it has already dry. Um, I'm gonna wait a little to see how much it creeps and if it really needs to be set or not. Mostly when we have fine lines under our eyes, I mean, if you don't set it, most likely a concealer will move. But sometimes you can get away with some concealers and they will not move too much. I'm gonna be using this Sephora 67 brush. Definitely I got more coverage with the brush application and it was really easy to spread. What I will have to say is that you don't need too much. So if you're gonna go with a brush, you don't need a lot. There's a still a little bit of darkness back there. Like on that right on this corner right here, I don't know if you can see it. So I'm just gonna do like a dot. Just gonna take a little bit of the concealer and put it on my eyelid. Okay, definitely you can, I'm, I'm sure you can see the difference between this eye and this eye. Definitely, you want more coverage, use a brush. So let me just build it up just a little bit more on this area. Let me see this darkness right here. I'm just gonna put a little dot and then I'm gonna use my beauty sponge. Okay, so now that I got you really close, it hasn't really uh, settled until my fine lines. Just barely a little right over here. Right over here, but very, very minimal. It has this very natural um, feeling and texture that it doesn't really move. It looks like a skin. It honestly looks like a skin. It has very light luminosity, not dewy at all. So it actually, it doesn't emphasize those fine lines. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set one of my under eyes. I think maybe this side because this is where I think, quote unquote, that I have the least amount of concealer because I use the sponge to spread it. So we're gonna go ahead and use hourglass veil. Use my Sonia G mini cheek brush and I'm just gonna set. We're gonna do a couple check-ins and we will see how this concealer is wearing throughout the day and the time right now is 8 35. Okay my friends so it is right now 1 40 in the afternoon. See right here and see how much it has squeezed. So I have I have seen just a little bit of creasing right over here, very minimal. This is a very like profound fine line, I should say. So it's barely there and a little bit of creasing on these fine lines right here, but it's not notorious at all. Um, now this side right here, although it doesn't have any powder, I see some creasing on these fine fine lines right here. I think you can see them right there. But the creasing is pretty much zero to none. I mean, you have to be very close in order to see it. Like, if somebody is just a couple oh, steps away from you, they will not be able to see the creasing. So far, it's holding up really well. It's not losing its pigmentation too. This is um, the side that I applied with a brush. And as you can see, I have more coverage right here on my dark circles, more than this area right here. So, so far, pigmentation is holding up really well. It hasn't worn off. So what I have noticed with these concealers, first of all, if you wanna acquire um, greater coverage, as you can tell, I still have obviously not the same coverage as when I started my you know this review in the morning but i still have somewhat of coverage i mean i have lost a little right here i mean i think you can tell the darkness right there and same thing in this area so i think if you want to acquire more coverage with this concealer use a brush now you don't need to use a lot of this concealer to get full coverage you just need very little amount um here right now in california it's winter time it has been cold all day long, so I have a break of sweat. Um, so 
that part, you know, we can eliminate. It's not that I have to go to the gym or do anything like that, but I'm having a cold that is, you know, my have a runny nose and a little bit, my eyes are a little bit watery, and yet the concealer has lasted fairly good. I think, honestly, this is one of my favorite concealers or even perhaps stepping up to be my favorite concealer. I'm really, really, really loving it. As far as the applicator, there's a little bit, you will lose a little bit of the concealer because it's so tight, um, this area right here. So there's kind of like an overspill a little, but it's the same thing as like, this uh, lip gloss it's minimal is there it's not gonna drive me crazy you know because pretty much every package is like that there's some packages that they are really worse than that but that's the only thing other than that i love absolutely everything the longevity how it looks under my eyes how it does increase because i personally do not like to powder my skin i love like finishing powders that have some luminosity that's the thing that i love the most but i don't like mattifying products and sometimes when i mean in real life and you're not in front of a camera and you put powder under your eyes and if you have so many fine lines it just aged you and i don't like the look and honestly i'm just so in love with the coverage the longevity um, the pigmentation, even the consistency is, I mean, like everything about this concealer, I'm really, really loving it. So I'm super happy that I gave it a go because there has been so many products launched lately that I was like, should I get it? Should I don't? And I'm like, okay, let me just, let me just get it to a review. Why not? Right? So I'm so happy I got it. If you have purchase it let me know your comments below what you think about this concealer or just leave me a comment are you planning to try it you know i would always love to read your comments so please leave them down below also um, while you're at it and if you haven't done so yet consider to subscribe to my channel it's super easy under this screen you will see in red it says subscribe just tap in there and so you don't miss any of my content, make sure you ring the post notification bell. Also, if you have a little bit of a chance, come and follow me on my Instagram. And by the way, I will be linking all the products that I used today on the description box below. So if you want to see something, it's going to be down there. So hopefully that's helpful for you. And once again, thank you so, so, so much for watching, for being here, for your support. I love you so, so much. Until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.